All right, you guys, no intro here. We're jumping right into these beauties. I did purchase these from Ulta. They are also available on Amazon, so make sure you check out Amazon or Ulta to purchase. And starting off with Midnight Delight. This is a gorgeous two-coater described as a warm cognac with neutral undertones. This is opaque in one to two coats. I did two coats here in the live swatch, and I believe I actually did one coat in the swatch photo. It is a tad bit darker in the live swatch. I would say the swatch photos are most accurate here getting right into different lighting. So <laughs> I filmed this at nighttime. I'm also losing my voice, but I filmed this at nighttime. So the photos indoors showing the different lighting are terrible quality because of the low light, but I still wanted to give you guys an idea of how these polishes look in different lighting. So here we are in indoor lighting and then getting right into comparisons. You guys know the asterisk next to any comparisons means the polish is available at Beyond Polish. I have an affiliate code with Beyond Polish. That code is BIV10 for 10% off. And then any of the polishes that have an A next to them does mean that that polish is available on Amazon. And I will link those down below in the description. So here we have Essie Cliffhanger, Essie on the Bright Sider, and Essie Expressy Saffron the Move. And you guys, these look so close. I would say Essie Cliffhanger is a tad bit more red. And then I would say Essie on the Bright Sider is basically a dupe for this polish. Maybe a tad bit lighter though. So maybe not a dupe. <laughs> okay, moving right along. We have Essie Caftan, Essie Coconuts for You, and Essie Paintbrush It Off, so no dupes there. And then here we have Zoya Ryder, OPI Endless Center, and China Glaze Loves You A Latte. Once again, no dupes. And then last but not least, here we have OPI Cliffside Karaoke, Zoya Collin and Orly Canyon Clay. And once again, no dupes here. All right, next up is one of my faves. This is Slay It. This is pretty much a one coat wonder. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I have no dupes for it. It is described as a warm mid-tone gray with brown undertones. So you're gonna see me pull out quite a few comparison polishes because I couldn't figure out what color this one actually was. <laughs> and then here you can see what this polish looks like in bad lighting. <laughs> okay, so getting right into comparisons. I thought this had kind of a purple undertone, but it didn't really, so I compared Essie Generation Zen here, and then Essie Easily Suede. I thought this was going to be a dupe, but you can see Easily Suede is lighter. And then OPI Susie Talks With Her Hands. I don't know why I even compared that one. Um, it looked more gray in the bottle, but it looks pretty blue on the nail. Okay, next up we have Essie Serene Slate, Essie Off the Grid, and Essie Merino Cool. No dupes there. And then Essie Expressy Espresso Double Shot, Essie Expressy Binge Worthy, and Essie On Mute. No dupes there. This really is like a true brown undertone gray. <laughs> so then I pulled out Essie Crochet Away. That's got more red in it. And then Essie Now and Zen is not even close. And Essie Mink Muffs has a little bit more red in it as well. Let me know if you guys have a dupe for Slay It. I'm sure there's probably an OPI out there that is comparable. And let me know if you do have any requests for any more comparisons. I don't have an extensive OPI collection, but if I do have any polish that you guys wanna see, if I have that polish, I will compare it for you. Okay, next up we have Carols and Caviar. This is a gorgeous one to two coater. It's described as a cool black and gray with blue undertones, and I love polishes like this. These polishes are always so shiny and just so beautiful. And then you can see how this looks in the indoor lighting. So it looks almost black or very, very dark gray in indoor lighting. And then comparisons. Here we have Essie Tone Down, Essie Steady Tips, and Essie Anchor Down. No dupes there. Next up we have Essie Booties on Broadway, Essie Expressy Leveled Up. And I would say that is a pretty gosh darn close dupe. If you have leveled up, you probably don't need Carols and Caviar, except I would say Carols and Caviar has a nicer, shinier formula. And then Essie Infinity Cool, so you can see how those compare. Next up is OPI Nature Strong Force of Nature, OPI Less is Norse, and Zoya Brett. No dupes there. Then we have Essie Jocature Caviar Bar, 
SE Bobbing for Bobbles and OPI Midnight Mantra. No dupes once again. And I could do comparisons to this color forever because I love this color. And then Orly Midnight Oasis, SE On Mute, and SE After School Boy Blazer. And once again, no dupes there. All right, and then we have the red from this collection. Wrapped in luxury is described as a rich burgundy red with blue undertones. This is a gorgeous two-coater and it's a lovely red. I'm not the hugest red fan, but this one was nice. And then here you can see how it looks in terrible lighting. <laughs> okay, and then getting into comparisons. We have Essie Berry Naughty, Essie Maki Me Happy, and Essie Bordeaux. And you can see that Maki Me Happy and Essie Bordeaux are pretty gosh darn close here. And then I pulled out Essie Nailed It, OPI We The Female, and Essie Forever Yummy. And you can see there's just a slight difference in all of those. But it's so hard to compare reds and have them show up accurately on video. I would say the closest to this polish would be Essie Maki and Essie Bordeaux. Okay, next up, this is an absolute beauty. This is not so silent night. This is a gorgeous two-coater and I love this one. When I first saw this one, I thought this has to be a dupe for Leggy Legend. So you'll see a comparison to that polish coming up. And then here we have the polish in indoor lighting and indoor terrible lighting. So you can see it's gorgeous no matter what. And then here we have comparisons. So we have Essie Get Your Grove On, Essie Leggy Legend, which is actually a little bit more, um, I would say brown leaning, and then Essie Cargo Cameo. And you can see no dupes there. Okay, and my absolute freaking favorite polish from this collection, this polish is gorgeous. This is Head to Mistletoe. This is a gorgeous metallic sage green with flecks of refined gold pearl and a shimmer finish. You can really see the gold flecks in this polish and this is just so pretty. I'm loving these greens that these companies are coming out with this year for the holidays and I will be wearing these all the time around the holidays and in winter in general and leading into spring even. Okay, and then here you can see this polish in the indoor crappy lighting so you can see how it looks in bad lighting compared to under studio lighting. And then here we have comparisons. So here are the greens. Orly Urban Landscape, which I will be reviewing the Futurism collection this week. And then OPI Deck to the Pines and SE Rain Check. So I would say I like OPI's green and SE's green the most. Orly's green is a three coater. And I was not a huge fan of the formula. And then next up we have Orly Metamorphosis. Essie Jocature Jade de Major and China Glaze Little Green Invaders. So there we have our greens. No outro because you don't need to hear this voice anymore. Have a great weekend, guys. Love you. Bye.